Welcome to my channel. My name is Nikki LaRose. I'm a celebrity makeup artist based in Los Angeles. Today, I want to show you one of my signature makeup looks. If you follow me on Instagram, you will definitely recognize this look. It's something I use all the time on so many of my clients, including models for photo shoots. I use this on my celebrity clients all the time. They love it. And I know you look so gorgeous in it too. To start this look, I'm using a tinted eyeshadow base. This one is from NARS and it's in medium dark. I love using tinted eyeshadow bases because not only do they keep your eyeshadow in place and prevent creasing, this one in particular, since it is a darker shade than my natural skin tone, is going to give me an instant eyeshadow effect. After applying the product directly onto my eyelid, I'm taking a smaller blending brush and blending that product into my crease using a windshield wiper motion. As I get towards the outer corner, you'll notice that I'm sweeping that product outward and up towards my temple. Next, I'm taking a larger fluffy brush and dipping it into a bronzer. I love using bronzers on the eyes. I think they're so gorgeous and so neutral. So I'm using this bronzer as my transitional color. You'll notice I'm taking an even larger fluffy brush and I'm just diffusing that outer corner of my eye even more. I love doing this because again, it adds that blown out effect and that really soft look. Using the Makeup by Mara brown eye pencil, I'm taking this and tight lining my top lash line. This may seem like it's not making a big difference, but believe me it does. I never skip this step. Next, I'm taking that same brown eyeliner and I'm tracing along the outer corner of my eye. I'm only lining the very outer corner of my eye and looking straight ahead in a mirror as I do so. I have very hooded eyes, so this technique is absolutely a must. Then taking a smudger brush and just blending out that line and creating a soft wing effect. Next, using the same smudger brush, I'm taking a dark brown eyeshadow to set my wing liner. This is also going to darken and create a little more depth with my eyeliner. Next up, I'm taking a medium brown shadow from the same palette and I'm tracing directly above that dark brown liner. And just when you think you're done blending, blend some more. Again, I don't like any harsh lines with my eye makeup looks, so this is always a must for me. Next is one of my favorite techniques. I'll be taking an eye makeup remover and a pointed Q-tip to clean up any eyeshadow fallout and also to create and sculpt my cat eye effect. Taking the Q-tip and gently dragging it straight up towards my temple, this is what's going to create my wing effect. Now taking a liquid liner, this one's a beautiful dark brown metallic. I'm tracing this along my top lash line. Make sure you taper this eyeliner by going as thin as possible on the inner corner of the eye and slightly thicker towards the center and the outer corner.
make sure you're holding that brush flat to your lash line and then dragging it across. This will help you get a super fine, thin line. Next up, I'm applying a lengthening mascara to the root of my lashes. You'll notice I'm wiggling it left and right and then pulling it straight up. By using this technique, it will help thicken your lash line and give you an instant curl. Now for a lash boost, I'll be using the Ardell Duralash 3D Individuals in medium black. I love these lashes. Placing a very small amount of the Duo Dark Tone Lash Adhesive. I'm placing this on the top of my hand. I'm letting it dry down almost halfway so it's nice and tacky and that way when I apply my lashes, they're going to stick right away. I'm placing my individual lashes directly onto my lash glue and letting them dry down and get nice and tacky. Next, I'll be concealing under my eye. What this will do, of course, is conceal my under eye and cover any dark circles, but it's also gonna to help define that cat eye even further. Using the sponge applicator, I'm tracing just below my wing liner and pulling it up towards my temple. You can see this instantly defines that wing liner even more. Next, I'm taking a small concealer brush and patting that product into my skin while buffing out the edges just gently. This will help blend the product and also keep the coverage. I love to let my concealers dry down about halfway and self-set before I go in and blend out. Taking a damp mini beauty blender, I'm just tapping on that concealer even more just to make sure there's no excess product. To set my under eye concealer, I'm taking a small amount of loose setting powder and pouring it directly into the palm of my hand. This will help me to warm up the product and really allow me to work that powder into my powder puff. Now this step is crucial if you really want a flawless under eye. This will ensure that I have no creasing throughout the day and I get a really flawless, smooth finish. And you can see the difference right here. Going back in with a little more loose powder, I'm doing a very light bake. By doing this and having that excess powder underneath will ensure that I don't get any fallout when I'm doing my bottom lash line. Repeating the very first step using that NARS tinted smudge proof eyeshadow base, I'm applying it directly on the top of my hand, then taking a small shader brush and gently dragging that across my bottom lash line. Now taking a small fluffy brush and the same bronzer we used on our eyelid, and applying this directly onto the bottom lash line to give us a soft, smoky effect. Using a very gentle touch, I'm blending out that bronzer along the bottom lash line. And once again, repeating the steps we used on the eyelid, I'm dipping back into Teddy with a firm shader brush and gently layering that on top of our bronzer and our eyeshadow base. Next up, I'm dusting off that excess baking powder using a fluffy brush. To finish up this look, I'm going to be highlighting the inner corner of my eye using a soft peach highlighter. By taking this soft peach highlighter a lot further out than you would expect, rather than popping it directly onto the tear duct, I'm applying it almost along the side of my nose. This will help to elongate the shape of my eyes. And to finish up this look, I'll be taking the detailing end of my Duo Mascara from Girlactic and applying this directly onto my bottom lashes. So this is my soft brown cat eye. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you recreate this look on yourself or on your clients, please tag me on Instagram so I can see the finished look. It's at makeup by Nikki LaRose. Thank you so much again for watching and I'll see you next time. Outro. Outro. Outro.